the most frustrating thing to me is that sometimes when we take a stop in a trade and when we lose, bottom line is the stock goes to where I said it would go. And this isn't willy nilly. And it's not like it even takes forever. I'm not talking about just throwing it out there and saying, oh, this is gonna go, yeah, it could go to that number sometime in the next century. No, I'm saying it's gonna go to that number pretty quick, like soon, like it's headed right there. And that's what's annoying. That is the only thing that's really annoying about it because I was right, I was right all along. And that's why sometimes I take a trade a second time. Now, we don't do that all the time, but sometimes I take a stop and I do a retake because I'm so certain that it's gonna go there. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't in the day that we want it. So this did not go to 90 yesterday, and it's not gonna to go to 90 today either, but it's gonna go there soon. Not sometime in the next century, it's going there. So I think that's, that's the, that is the difficult thing about trading, but for me, oh, look at this, this is crazy. So for me, it's hard because you feel frustrated because you know you were right, and it doesn't go there. But see, I always know that I'm right. It's some people get frustrated and they question themselves and they think that they were wrong or that the system was wrong or the rating was wrong or they question themselves or they lose conviction. See, I never do that. I never do that. I always know that I'm right, but I still get frustrated when it doesn't happen in the moment that I want it to. But I'm never surprised when I see something like this because I say I knew it. I knew it and I knew it was right. And that's why going along something like this is idiotic. It's just crazy because you can't tell at any moment in time when, se when a seller would come in and just go poop and stick it down and move it the opposite way. And that very well could have happened in Target yesterday. I think the market was an issue for Target yesterday. When the market came in then a little bit and did not follow through, I definitely think the, the Target would have worked if the market had been more bullish yesterday. I do. But either way, it's still going to go to 90. But it didn't yesterday. This looks like it's going to 28, 50, 28, and I don't think anyone else is in it. So it was aggressive, did the ad, can't complain about this now. This was a perfect call, but it did, it moved back too fast. If you stayed with this here, where did it go? 46. That would have been too much to hold through. But it's definitely going. Who wants to go over what? Yeah, but it's all with the market. This is just, that was all FOMC minutes, whatever. It's just, it was all the the, the market stuff. Actually, Target is with the SPY, so. But, I mean, I really honestly thought Target would go with Lowe's. But look at look, look at what Lowe's did then. See, look at what Lowe's did. Lowe's made, made the high and then fell off a planet. So. So that's the thing that's frustrating about trading, but you can't lose conviction in yourself, your read on the gap, the, your read on the stock, the rating system, or anything. Because if you do, then it really gets in your head and you then you just mess up all the time. Then anytime anything doesn't work, then you question yourself and then you really screw up even more. So you gotta hold the conviction, no matter what you do, even if it doesn't work out the way that you want. Because you'll go back and look at something like this and say, I knew it. And it's funny that I thought of this because it proved my point. <laughs> I was trying to say today about Target, but either way with this here, so. But as day traders, we do look to get in, oops, and look to get out quickly. We did that today, so I think we need to focus on the short trades like we've been, but we missed lows yesterday, I don't know. Any questions from anyone about anything else? Let's end the week strong. Today was a strong day, we'll look to do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe it'll be Gap, maybe it'll be Ross, maybe it'll be something else, I don't know. Any questions from anyone in the peanut gallery? All right, good day. Have a wonderful day. Carry the good day this morning through into the rest of your day. Good karma. All right, have a good day, everyone.